your nostalgia from Mars. Well, that brings us towards the end of this particular show. I hope you've enjoyed our rather geological excursion into the past. From music to stories and memories, Radio Nostalgia from Mars has it all. If you want to be involved with RNFM, have a story to tell, a memory to share, contact us via the usual intranet channels and leave it. Anna Chuchin with Take My Hand, her sublime take on our wonderful project called Humanity. Beautiful. Plenty more to come into Soul Show, a show packed with stories and music to remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama. Radio Nostalgia for Mars. I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. Passes quickly. It flies by. Your home away from home. Life passes quickly, indeed. Another blast from the past, reminding us to savor each moment as it flies by. Speaking of savoring things, the Health and Wellbeing Department would like us to remind you that the popping and fizzing noise your dried food makes when you're adding water is perfectly normal and does not mean it has gone off or is contaminated. The Health and Wellbeing Department would also like to take this moment to remind you to take your bone density pills twice a week now, as it was discovered the original dose is off by a factor of two. Right, on with the show. Music and dancing have always been a mainstay of stress relief and letting go. Our next caller Merva recalls her teenage clubbing days with vivid memories of awkward first kisses and a life-altering club experience invoking a philosophical epiphany. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, radiant nostalgia from Mars. So when I was a kid in Vienna, in high school, we used to learn all the German poets, like Best Friends, Goethe and Schiller. But the first poet that actually spoke to me was Heinrich Heine. I knew a couple of Heine's poems by heart.